Welcome to another coding tutorial. And in today's coding tutorial, I will be showing you how to make this fun character. It kind of looks like a crab. I will let you use your imagination to tell me what it actually looks like. I made a series on introduction to creative coding. And in today's tutorial, we will be focusing on four main concepts, pixels, coordinate systems, drawing shapes and colors. How I'm going to approach this tutorial is that I'm going to break it down into different parts of the body. So the eyes, the body, the legs and the feet. I'm going to be drawing them first and then I'm going to color them. So let's get started. Okay, so first I am going to comment the different sections that I'm going to make. So we have the eyes, we have the body, we have the legs and the feet, right? So let's start with the eyes. We can use a function called rect, which is a built-in function within P5.js to draw a rectangle. And rect takes in a total of four arguments. The first two arguments are the x and y coordinate of the top left corner of the rectangle. And then the third and the fourth arguments are for the width and the height of that rectangle. So if you look at the eyes, the x and y coordinates of the eyes are 120 comma 80 and 200 comma 80 and it has a width and a height of 40 so let's start with that so rect 120 comma 80 with the width of 40 and height of 40 and then the second one is 280 by 40 and 40. ta-da okay so we have the first part of the eyes so now let's draw the eyeballs. So the eyeballs, we will have to use an ellipse function. And an ellipse function takes in three or four arguments. The first and second one are for the x and y coordinate of the center of the circle. So, so ellipse of 140 and 100, and the size is 20 by 20. And then the other eye is at 220 and 100 and the same width and height. So you can see that it's still white. We actually want black. But right now, I'm not going to color anything just yet. We will do that at the end. So now, let's go to the body. So with the body, we also need to use the rect function, right? And the x and y coordinates are 120 and 120, with a width and a height of 120 by 80. Ta -da. Okay, so now let's go to the legs. So we'll be drawing more rectangles. For the legs, the x and y coordinates are rect at 120 by 200. And the width is 40 and the height is 80. And now to their left leg, it's rect at 200 and 200. And the same width and the same height. Ta da! So now the feet is also another two rectangle, right? So the x and y coordinates are at 120 by 280 with width of 40 and height of 40. And the other side is 200 by 280 with width of 40 and height of 40. Now that we have the outline of this creature, what we want to do is that we want to color each of the parts, right? And we can do that by using the function called fill. Let's start with the eyes. So for the eye part, right, the, the white part, we will leave it as white because the default color is white. But then the ellipse part or the eyeballs, we want to fill it with the color black, which is zero. But as you can see here, if you look at my color video, you know that if you put in the function fill, that function will be coloring all the shapes that come after that, right? It's like you pick a color pencil black and you color everything. Don't worry about it because as we color each of the sections, then each of the color will be coloring the correct parts. Okay, so now for the body, we want it to be the color orange. And the color that I have is 255, 125, and zero. Let's see. So now everything is orange. Now let's go to the legs. We want it to be the color bright pink, right? So that is the color 255, 25, and 120. And you don't have to follow my colors right now. You can do it as you wish. 
Now we have the color pink. And then for the feet, what we want is the color black. Even though the default color is white, but because we're coloring all of these shapes with different colors, we also need to tell that the rectangle for the eyes here has to be white, which is 255. There you go. What are we missing here right now? We're missing the mouth. And we can do that by just drawing a line using a function called line. And that line will go from point 160, 160 to 200, 160. But what I want to do as well is that I want the stroke weight or the thickness of the line to be a little bit thicker. So you can use the function called stroke weight. The default size is one. So if you put three here, you can see that everything is equal to three now, right? Because it doesn't only impact this line here. So what you want is that under background here, you want to also set the stroke weight of everything else to be one. And there you go. So you get this beautiful, fun creature. Give it a try. Try different creatures that you want. Try draw it out. You don't have to only just do rectangles and ellipse, right? You can do different other shapes too. So let's try it.